Today on our 2009 Cadillac DTS, we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Tecancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118535. So we can lift it out of there and replace our cover, unwind it. So that way when we need it, it's easy to access and we can simply pull it out of the trunk in order to use it. And when we lower the trunk, we want to be sure to avoid this area here around the latch because we want to make sure that our wiring doesn't get pinched and possibly damaged. Then we simply lower our trunk and it's ready to use to hook up to whatever trailer we may be hauling behind it. Then when we're done using it and ready to store it away, you can use a rubber band or twist tie, something like that in order to keep it bound together and you can drop it right back down inside the spare tire and replace your cover and then it's nice tucked away and protected and you still have full use of your trunk. What's really nice about this wiring setup is that it has a module box on it and what that module box does is help to protect the vehicle's wiring system from any possible back feed or anything like that from a short in the trailer. And that way, you don't have to worry about anything happening to your vehicle's wiring and possibly having a fuse blow on the vehicle itself. So if you're looking for something that's gonna give you the power for four pole connector, but is relatively easy to install, just takes a little bit of time, this is definitely gonna be a good wiring kit for you. So now, let's show you how to install this wiring kit. First thing that we'll need to do to begin our installation is remove some of these interior panels in order to be able to get to the rear of the tail lights. So I'll start by taking the spare tire cover out here. And once I've got the spare tire cover out, I can take this whole threshold off. And I'll start over here. We've got this little push pin right here. And if you just pry out, you can pop that right off of there. Same thing on the other side. So it'll come out the exact same way. And then once you've got those out, you can begin to pry up on the threshold and it'll begin to pop loose as there's some clips that hold it in. So we'll take that and set that aside. Then we've got these little cargo hooks and they're threaded onto the studs that are underneath them. So we'll remove those. It's one on top, one on bottom. And then that'll allow us to pull this interior panel back. And then right up here is the connector in the back of the tail light. Now in order to get that connector out, you'll need a flathead screwdriver. So then what you can do is pry down, because you've got those two little sections of the tabs there. Slide that flathead screwdriver in there, pry down on it, and it'll begin to pop right out as there's that little part that clips in up there. So we'll do this exact same thing on the other side. So now we can take our new trailer wiring harness. We'll plug the one end of the T connector into the connector that we took out of the tail light, and then the other one we'll plug back in to the back side of the tail light. Then I can route the T connector on the green wire to the passenger side to plug that in to the back of that tail light. So now I can plug these connectors in the same way I did on the driver's side. So now I'm going to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a towel and clean an area in order to mount my module box. I'm also going to just clean the back of that module box off a little bit to make sure that our double sided sticky tape adheres very nicely. So I'm gonna, just going to mount this down here. So it's nice and tucked out of the way. Take this white wire and find a good place to ground it. Now I'm going to take this out because this is a body ground. So 
So I'm just going to ground it right there. So the next thing I'll need to do is get the black 12 volt power wire that I'll be running from the battery up front. So I've gone ahead and routed this larger black wire. And where I routed it, I used a fish wire to go up along the inside of that fender underneath the mats here. And it came out up there in order to go underneath the back seat. Since the battery in this vehicle is underneath the rear seat. And then the wire comes out here under the seat and then I'll be able to route it over towards the battery. We went ahead and pulled the seat out so that we could have access to our battery here. In order to do that, you just have to pull up on the front of it because it's got some clips that tie it in here along the front of the seat. So now what I'll do is use this yellow butt connector to attach the red wire that's coming off our module to that black wire that I just routed towards the battery. So I'll strip the end of this black wire back, install it into one end, that yellow butt connector. And then on the other end be that red wire. We'll make sure that's nice and secure. And then we'll be able to pull out a little bit of excess in this black wire up towards the battery. Take a little bit out of this wiring here in order to bring it towards the spare tire to let it rest there for now so we have easy access to it. So now what we can do is take our side covering here and put it back into place. Measure out about how much I'm gonna need here to go towards the battery to keep it tucked away and safe. So then I'll cut it at that length. And then what I'm gonna do before I put my fuse holder on in order to hook it up to the battery, is I'm just gonna zip tie it along this loom of wires here just to make sure that it stays secure and doesn't move around too much to where it may risk getting pinched. And I'm gonna connect it to my inline fuse holder because this location that hooks directly up to the battery from the fuse box right here is gonna be a really good location to mount our ring terminal. Clip the ring that's made up by the wire here to split it. And then I'll strip either end of it. And then the end of the black wire here Strip the end of that as well. Then I'll take the other yellow butt connector that comes in the kit, slide it onto the end there, and crimp that down. Then one of the ends of my inline fuse holder, I'll put into the other side of that butt connector and crimp it down as well. On the other end of my fuse holder, I'll install my ring terminal. Then I can take that. I'll use a 13 millimeter to take that off and install my ring terminal right there. I can put that ring terminal on there and reinstall the nut. So now I'll secure the excess wire that I've got here. Then I want to leave a little bit of play for that so that if I need to get easy access to it, I can. Install the fuse into our fuse holder. We can put our cap to help protect that fuse over the top. Then we'll be ready to test our system. So now that we've got it all hooked up, before we finish reassembling, now's a good time to go ahead and test it. So first we'll check our tail lights. Those are working. Let's check our left turn signal, right turn signal, and brake lights. With everything working properly, we can finish our reassembly. So now we can reinstall our threshold. We can re reinstall our seat and some of them have sensors in them so you might have a connector on yours 
So if you do, you want to be sure to plug that back in. And that's going to complete our look at and installation of the Tecancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118535 on our 2009 Cadillac DTS. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.